Matt Groening's culture-changing all-time great animated sitcom was built on the strength of its cast of characters. However, not everybody that has come through the town has stuck around. I'm Cy for WhatCulture.com and these are 10 classic characters from The Simpsons you'll never see again. Number 10, Herb Powell. Having a famous brother can come with its drawbacks. In the case of Homer Simpson, the drawback is that you almost never see him. In Brother Where Art Thou, Homer learns that he has a half-brother. Upon connecting with Herb, the two get along great, despite their differences. Compared to Homer's lazy nature, Herb has worked all of his life for success and is an affluent individual because of it. By the episode's close, his fortune is squandered by placing his trust in Homer's class and sensibilities. Herb was so popular with fans and with the producers that he was brought back for an episode one year later. In 1992, Powell returned for Brother Can You Spare Two Dimes to overcome his strained relationship with Homer and regain his riches. Because Unky Herb is voiced by Danny DeVito, a world-famous actor who can pretty much do what he wants this late into his career, it makes his future on the show questionable. Despite burying the hatchet, Herb is never seen and barely mentioned after 1992. As part of a gag in 2011's Changing of the Guardian, it's briefly mentioned that Herb is poor again. He's more likely toiling away on another get-rich scheme and too busy to visit the humble town of Springfield. Number 9. Alice Glick Alice Glick is hardly going to be a character that most people call their favourites, but she had her moments as part of the ensemble of Springfield senior citizens. Mrs. Glick has been around since season two, where Bart did all of her worst chores to save up for a comic book. She was also memorably part of a yard sale where she was intent on getting $90 for her candy bowl. Most importantly, Alice Glick is part of the elite group of Simpsons characters that have been killed off. In the 2011 episode Replaceable You, Bart collaborates with Martin for a science project to create robo pets, which are eventually given to the folks at Springfield Retirement Castle. However, bitter few funeral directors cause the pets to go on a rampage that results in the death of Alice. What a supremely strange way to go, part of an extremely stretched storyline thread and not to mention off screen. This entry is a bit of a wild card though because despite her death it seems that Mrs. Glick or someone who looks remarkably like her has appeared in the background in several episodes set thereafter. However despite this in Flanders Ladder in 2018 she appeared alongside other dead Simpsons characters as a ghost, presumably an official answer to the confusion to her fate. Number 8. Hank Scorpio. Even in its earlier seasons, when it wasn't building upon the classic American sitcom, The Simpsons was paying homage to and referencing a great many films. In You Only Move Twice, we are introduced to Hank Scorpio, CEO of Globex and passionate James Bond villain. Or in this case, Super Agent Bont. He also just so happens to be Homer's new boss when the family moves to Cypress Creek. Despite being designed as a one-off guest star, Hank remains today one of the most beloved characters that the show's writers ever crafted. There was something brilliant about the mad double-sidedness to his personality, the supervillain that world leaders feared that also was an affable employer who treated Homer with respect. Which is exactly what has stopped him from returning. At one stage, Hank was considered as the villain for the Simpsons movie before writers decided he was too nice. To anyone watching, it was clear that Russ Cargill also played by Albert Brooks, was just a second-rate Scorpio. Hank did make a speaking cameo in 2011's episode 500 Keys, but beyond that, he's become his own Simpsons man of mystery due to his prolonged disappearance. According to IMDb users, You Only Move Twice is the second-highest-rated episode that the show has ever produced. Number 7, Mr. Winfield and Sylvia Winfield. If you came here looking for an obscure entry, look no further than Mr. and Mrs. Winfield. This elderly, agitated couple actually made their debut in only the third episode of the entire show. The breakout hit of Homer's Odyssey shows Homer dragging a rock to a bridge as he contemplates suicide, and the Winfields make some cutting remarks about it from their porch. They would appear as bit part players numerous times early in the show's run, including the time Mr. Winfield told Homer and his new flowing locks in Simpson and Delilah to get a haircut, hippie. If you're a Simpsons hit and run fan, you'll recognize Sylvia Winfield instantly as she appears very prominently as an NPC in that video game. In the 1992 episode New Kid on the Block, the Winfields are rich and out of the show. Making her final appearance, Sylvia tells Homer that they are retiring to Florida and moving out of the streets, making way for Bart's love interest, Laura Powers. For a time, the Winfields did show up in the background of a few shots up until around 1996. What's funny is that the seniors actually appeared briefly in the opening titles for The Simpsons all the way up to season 20 in 2009. Since then, though, the Winfields have stayed firmly down in Florida, wherever that is relative to the state that Springfield is apparently in. Number 6. Fat Tony. Springfield 
Oxford explores all walks of life, from school children to the retirement home, from the police force to the criminal underworld. Mob boss Fat Tony and his henchmen are part of some great episodes, not to mention one-off gags throughout Simpsons history. However, if you abandoned the show before 2010, it seems pretty likely that you don't know that Fat Tony has joined the dead Simpsons characters club. Then again, if you tuned in today, you'd see a character that is essentially the same person, so what gives? In a supremely weird turn of events, season 22's Donnie Fatso has Fat Tony suffer from a heart attack and pass on. When Homer visits the grave of the former Mafia Don, he is abducted by Tony's cousin, Fit Tony. Taking over the syndicate gets the better of the skinnier mob boss and he begins to pile on weight, becoming indistinguishable from the former character. Thus, Fit Tony became Fit Fat Tony, most often just referred to as Fat Tony. This character change is so pointless, but they are, technically speaking, different people. Fat Tony's replacement has gone on to appear a great many times in the last decade, despite the fact that his cousin, the original Fat Tony, is dead and buried. Number five, Maud Flanders. The last mention on this list of deceased Simpsons characters and no doubt one of the most impactful, Maud Flanders' passing was quite a big deal. It wasn't entirely designed as a ratings grab, but that was definitely a contributing factor and was mostly a response to Maud's voice actor quitting the show. Maggie Roswell had been flying from her home in Denver to Los Angeles often twice a week to record her lines and was tired of the process and rising prices of airline travel. As Marcia Mitzman Gavin stepped in to pick up Roswell's roles, the show's writers realized it was an opportunity to do something dramatic and have the characters of the show react to real tragedy. Thus, Maud Flanders is killed in an incident involving, in typically silly Simpsons fashion, a t-shirt launching cannon. Whilst Maud did contribute to the show a little, her death definitely allowed her widower Ned to evolve. The episode in question, alone again Natra Diddley, saw him have a crisis of faith and face the very real struggles of being a single father, the kind of hard subject matter that the show used to face head on. Roswell returned to the show in 2002 to continue to voice her other roles, but Maud Flanders is one deededly that can't be undoneedly. Number four, Edna Krabappel. With Bart and Lisa being school kids, it was important for the Simpsons writers to get a handle on members of the town's school staff. More than just props, many of these characters became beloved in their own right. Few are more memorable than Bart's fourth grade tutor, Edna Krabappel. Rather than the... I just do what I do. Cracker Barrel. Now this is cheese. Stuff your crew's faces for less with the new triple pizza box at Pizza Hut. What the box? Now that's delivering. Cozy and soft teachers of other sitcoms and TV shows, Edna was given dry wit, a smoking habit, and a loud, sarcastic laugh. Her more character-centric episodes were focused on her desires to find Mr. Right, which almost always inevitably panned out for the worse. Making her first appearance in the second ever episode of the show, Mrs. Krabappel was portrayed for 23 years by Marcia Wallace. However, in 2013, Wallace passed from complications due to breast cancer. At the very least, later appearances of Edna saw opposites attract, and her pursuit of love finally found a happy conclusion. Conclusion. Despite her very sarcastic and cynical nature, she wound up marrying the always chipper Ned Flanders. This meant that, even after already losing Maud, Ned was the character that was chosen to carefully mourn Edna when the show acknowledged Wallace's death. Out of respect for her work, Edna's character was retired from The Simpsons with dignity. Number three, Seymour Skinner. Speaking of Springfield School Board, where would The Simpsons be without Principal Skinner? The bureaucratic bookworm was always a strong cornerstone of the show, playing the perfect foil to the rebellious Bart and featuring in several moments that have become classic meme templates and viral hits. Naturally, he's not going anywhere. So let's get into the controversy that is the principal and the pauper. In this season 9 episode, a party in Skinner's honour is crashed by a war veteran who claims to be the real Seymour Skinner. It's then explained that the principal, real name Armin Tamzarian, returned from Vietnam to tell Agnes Skinner of her son's presumed passing, but wound up pretending to be him instead to save the heartbreak. The episode memorably finishes right where it began. Despite this revelation, the real Skinner, played by Hollywood megastar Martin Sheen, is tied up and sent out of town, and Springfield agrees to never speak of it again on threat of death. Whilst this might have been a gag, it's something that the show has pretty much kept to, with very few exceptions ever since, surely just because of the backlash. Fans hated the episode, and it's often called the end of the show's golden era. Delightfully devilish, this ain't. As such, the real Seymour Skinner will never be seen, heard from, or likely mentioned ever again. Number two, Apu Nahasapina Petalon. 
Bond. The strength of The Simpsons was always in its extensive cast. Outside of the family, the show had buckets of brilliant and funny characters. From the gibberish blurting Professor Frink to the adorably slow-witted Ralph Wiggum, from the belligerent Krusty the Clown to the warmth of the quickie marts Apu Nahasapina Petalon. As the years went on, however, Apu appeared less and less due to a rise in conversation about the character as a negative stereotype. Despite being enjoyed by many fans, a lot of The Simpsons' Asian viewers found understandable issues with the character. They compared Apu's stereotypical accents performed by the Caucasian Hank Azaria as brown voice. Several Desi creators made comments across the years about the character, with Indian actors telling stories of being told to do the Apu voice. In 2017, the controversy reached full peak with the release of Harry Kondabolu's The Problem with Apu documentary. Hank Azaria himself went to the studio to ask to be relieved of the role in 2020. Despite the show at first desperately trying to stick to its gun, it has in recent years started to correct its unconscious harm by recasting the likes of Carl and Dr. Hibbert with black actors. As of March 2020, creator Matt Groening has said that he's looking for a new actor and a way to reintroduce the character of Apu, but more than a year and a half later, it remains to be seen. Number one, Lionel Hutz and Troy McClure. When it comes to characters that had so much left to give, Phil Hartman's duo of Lionel Hutz and Troy McClure are about as big as you can get in The Simpsons. The two characters occupied very specific roles in the show's canon. Hutz, the fraudulent lawyer and persistent shyster, and McClure, a washed up actor reduced to appearing in infomercials and educational videos. Despite Springfield growing every season with new faces, these two guest characters always shined. Hutz's better call Saul-esque Tom Foolery is still quotable today, and hi, I'm Troy McClure, and you may remember me is one of the show's simplest and most memorable catchphrases. With such strong identities, together these two characters provided some of the consistently biggest laughs between seasons 2 and 10. Phil Hartman's inimitable voice and presence made them solid fan favourites, which makes it all the sadder that they were retired from the show due to the shocking murder of the actor. Hartman's contributions to The Simpsons are immovable. In honour, season 10's Bart the Mother, the final appearance of Troy McClure, is dedicated to his memory, and Matt Groening even went on to name the main character of his next creation, Futurama, after him as Philip J. Fry. And that's the list. Let us know what you thought of this video down in the comments below. Which of these classic Simpsons characters would you most like to see a return of, if possible? And of course, let us know of any others that we missed down there as well. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe and hit that notification bell. I've been Cypher Culture, and have a good week.